Now with these last two questions we're going to take a look at, um, we get into the density function. So we're given, uh, I think this should be something like f of x. I'm just missing something here. Yeah, f of x. So this is our density function. So it's a density function, and it's on the interval from 0 to 1. Remember, a density function means that if we take the area under that density function, going from 0 to 1, we should get this equal to 1. This is going to be 0. Yeah, when you integrate, I can see it. But uh, a quick test on this is... And this is not necessarily part of the question, but I just want to make sure we get to understanding. So we're going to, we don't need this on. Well, so we don't really need it anymore because we've got that draw, uh, the draw from the distribution. But let's put in our function 3x squared. Um, we're going from 0 to 1, so this is kind of changing things. It's not necessarily a normal curve. It probably is not a normal curve. So it's, a, uh, it's just a density function, right? So we're going to go, let's look at our window going from 0 to 1. Let's go to maybe 1.5 just so we get a little bit more in there. And maybe we go to um, negative 0.5 just on the left side of 0 so you can see, you know, see everything. Uh, the y max, uh, I'll go to one. I think that should be enough. We'll we'll take a look, and we're going to go to y equals. We've got that in there. We're going to graph it, um, and again a little bit below, a little bit above here. Um, well, maybe we want more than one. Let's go for our window. Let's make our y max three. That should do it. That we could kind of see everything what I'm looking at. Yeah, I think we just got it. And then what I want to do is I go second calc. I'm just verifying that this is a density function. So the lower limit is zero, the upper limit is one, and this needs to be equal to one, which it is. And it shows us okay, so it's this area equal to one. So we've got a density function. Don't have to do this each time. I mean, you assume they told us it was. But then to get to the expected value, remember that the expected value is going to be the area under the curve of x times f of x. So what we want to do is go uh, between here. Again, we're taking the whole interval from x times 3x squared. And we're going to see what that is equal to, and that get, that will be our mean. So we just take what we started with, go to y equals. Um, second insert, I'm going to put x times, or you could put it on the back side, or you could just write it as 3x to the third. But be careful, this gives, I like doing it this way, so that you see that this is going to give us our mean. We go to the graph. Notice the graph has changed because it's now getting multiplied by x. But we do the same thing. We're going to go second calc. We're going to get the integral. We're going to take the integral from 0 all the way to 1. And this is our average value. This is our mean, 0.75, expected value. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll get our variance. And for our variance, come down here, what we're going to need, if we go from 0 to 1, we want to take x minus the mean, in this case 0 0.75. So that's why we had to calculate it first. We're going to square it. And then we multiply it by the function f of x, which is 3x squared. So 
And I guess let's uh, let's do a check on the expected value three fourths. Yeah, 0.75. Four decimal places that doesn't look like decimal place 0 0.7500 okay, so that's good so i want to do a double check on that and then now let's check how we're doing on the variance so we will go back to y equals and down here i'm going to put insert put a parentheses over here i'm going to insert x minus 0.75 parentheses squared times 3x squared. So we see why I didn't do that last time. And then I'll enter that and I'm going to graph this. You'll notice the graph is looking different. I'm going to do the integral from 0 to 1. And we get that our variance is 0 0.0375. And that's why you need the four decimal places. 0 0.0375. 0 0.0375. Oops, I'm on the wrong page here. Let's see. That there's 37. Um, and we'll do a check. I guess I didn't put that in for the final answers, but we'll do a check here in just a moment. Um, and then how do I get the standard deviation? Standard deviation is going to be the square root. 0 0.0375 root 0 0.0375 gives us 0 0.19, um, let's see, 4 decimal, 0.1936. And those are the correct answers um, according to the answer key and according to the methods. Okay, so that's how we uh, are able to get the expected value variance and standard deviation when we are given uh, a density function in this form.